It's just in your head. It was one, we reacted to that one too, didn't we? We did. Yeah, it's catchy. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction <laughs> TV. It's Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Get on. Who's got that? Thanks to Patreon. Follow us on Instagram. We better clear. Bah! Woo! Hey, we're doing a movie review. Still in classic month. Gonna be till the month is over. That's hence, true. month. And then we will never watch another classic until next classic month. That's right. That's not true. That's not true at all. But, sorry, I was eating my jello. Today. Oh, yeah, it's catchy, right? It just stays in your head. It does. When you can have a song, and I say that whether it's English or whatever, but especially if it's like a foreign film, um, if you can have white people be able to sing along to it, yeah. even in a foreign language, yeah. you got a hit on your hands. Yep. Uh, but anyways, we watched our first ever Raj Kapoor film, uh, the 1951 film, Awara. Also known as the Vagabond, the Vagabond, which is what it translated to in yeah. English. Yeah. Um, some people said that wasn't the exact translation f for them. For the word? Yeah. What uh, was it? Then? I don't know. You guys can let us know. Some oh. people just said it, it, that wasn't the, like an exact translation. It makes sense the, to me because the, the Vagabond is more like the little tramp, Charlie Chaplin's character. Mm -hmm. And this character's more of like the outcast or yeah. the... The, the thief or the yeah. criminal or But anyways, uh, it's our first Raj Kapoor film from 1951 starring Raj Kapoor and Nargis. Nar is that how you pronounce her name? Nargis? Mm -hmm. Nargis. I just, I feel white saying it. Nargis. If you looked I in the mirror? No. <laughs> Am I white? Yeah. Uh, very. And, and also um, a couple other people, but... Uh, oh yeah, Prithviraj. Oh, also... You know who that is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did you, how, how long did it take? Uh, I, the very end, I, after I didn't... Really? I didn't realize it. <laughs> he was on screen for three seconds. You knew it. I, I looked at him and I went, yeah. oh, Monting. Monting. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I just, that face, those eyes. And yeah, also, I, I knew it immediately. I just noticed this. Young Raj is Shashi Kapoor, which I, All, I did not realize. Did you? Dude, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I, oh, I, yes. And you ready for this? Head, I guess. You ready for this? What? In the very opening scene... Mm -hmm. There's a judge sitting on the bench. Mm -hmm. The judge sitting on the bench is Deban Kapoor, Prithi Raj's dad. So this whole thing is nepotism. Full-blown nepotism, kids! <laughs> Full-blown <laughs> Bollywood nepotism. Well, this is probably where the nepotism started. If you don't like it. This is where like the nepotism it. started. Yeah, if you, right? Yeah. The Kapoors are... The Kapoors are it. Who are the... Like, the original two families were the Kapoors and the Dutts, right? That's yeah, but it's the Kapoors. Right? And there's... There's nothing. Nargis, Nargis started the Dutts, right? She was the wife of that. I don't know, Mr. Dutt. Sanjay Dutt, Sanjay Dutt's mom, Nargis Sanjay Dutt's mom, but the Kapoor's were the starter family. Yeah, yeah. So you had Divan, and then you had his son Prithi Raj, mm -hmm. and then you had his sons Raj and Sashi, who Raj is the dad of Rishi, who's the dad of Ranbir. <laughs> My brain. <laughs> okay. But anyways, yeah. uh, we're doing do a movie review of Awara, the 1951 film, directed, produced, uh, and I think, no, and starring Raj Kapoor. Um, obviously, we needed to get to Raj Kapoor at some point. Yeah. Um, and we, so we decided to do this classic month. So obviously, it's going to be 100 minutes before. It came out in 1951. It's almost, it's over 70 years old. Yeah. Uh, which, another thing is crazy. The film we just watched with... Uh, Kamal San, mm -hmm. and, and, which came out in 78. So, right. And this quality <laughs> of this film that came out in 1951. I know. Obviously, they, it's had, a a ton more, they had a ton more money. Obviously. And it was restored. You it, saw the opening credits. Yeah. And, and it's, it, not it's been restored. It's not even comparable to the budgets that these two no, had, no, no, obviously. No. But, or even international popularity. Yeah, but anyways. So, 100 Friends World Review, if you ever want to go watch it. We saw it on Mubi, is what it's called, right? Yeah, Mubi. Mubi. Um, if you need English subtitles, they have it there. But, Rick, your initial thoughts, please. I don't have a paragraph. No. I just have a sentence. Okay. And I'm ready to fight about it. Okay. This movie's better than Citizen Kane. You don't have to fight me. You know, I don't give a shit about Citizen Kane. I don't no. understand why Citizen Kane. I don't Kane. either. I... The, I do on the technical side of things. He did some things technically that hadn't been done. And I understand where people talk about it was um, 
really one of the first times that Hollywood went into being really strong in a both social and political message. Mm-hmm. But other than that, I think it's, Citizen Kane's one of the most boring. It's it wasn't well received when it first came out. Yeah. It was nominated for nine Oscars, won the one for screenplay, mm-hmm. and I've been told I wasn't there. I was told that when Citizen Kane, when each of the nominations were announced, people booed. And part <laughs> part of it, yeah, part of it was because they didn't like the fact that it was very clearly a personal vendetta and and crucifixion that Wells had toward William Randolph Hearst. Mm. Um, and it is a wonderful observation on the spectacle of capitalism in its worst place when you have a mogul that becomes so narcissistic that their entire world caves in. Uh, there will be blood as a much better film yeah. than Citizen Kane in yeah. that regard. This film, I thought, it, it, at every level, mm-hmm. this is one of the greatest films I have ever ever seen one of the greatest classics i don't care about region country language i was utterly flabbergasted at how good on so many levels this movie was yeah i and I, I totally agree this film is absolutely it lived up to what i've um, heard about not only raj kapoor but the film as a whole yeah uh because it came out as a highly regarded film i just i was in i was riveted from the outset and just stayed yeah from everything from acting to to the story, but obviously, uh, very notably, the production design <laughs> and the songs. The and songs, we'll get to the, the score, uh, but the production design. Nargis, let's, we could, it, we it, could make a, you could do videos on just the chemistry of Nargis and Raj Kapoor alone. They have great chemistry. Oh my goodness. They have great chemistry, but yeah, the some of the, the set designs rival, I think, what anything. Mug, Mughal Azam Anything, style. that, that oh, yeah, but, I agree. Love you. <laughs> He's probably going potty. The whole <laughs> unexpected, like, the movie was already a classic and fantastic, and I was going to add it to my all time favorite list. Then we got into that musical number that took the, you to the, the clouds sequence. of the dream sequence in hell. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute because that's one of the most epic parts of the film. <laughs> That it's jaw dropping, right? Jaw dropping. Uh, I couldn't believe it. But let's let's start with uh, the one who I haven't seen before, Raj Kapoor. Uh, when he came on screen, well, obviously he came on screen in the beginning. But obviously, when you really got introduced to him, you could see the the immediate um, kind of charisma he has. And obviously, the character was kind of inspired by the the tram. Yeah, Charlie Chaplin's. And that's tram. but that's but what I, it's more the I think more the costume. It's than just anything. kind of the costume. Um, but obviously, he came on screen with the. Avada home, yeah. which is classic, all, all-time classic song. But he, you can see the immediate kind of charisma that he has and yeah. the acting talent he has. Um, similar to, um, even though I think he, he, even though it was still kind of the time stylized at some point, um, as opposed to like, um, what's his face from um, Dev Das and um, the original Dev Das. Oh, the original Dev Das. Um, We've seen two of his films now. Um, um, I don't know why I'm doing this name. Me too. Uh, I know who you're talking about. Madhumati, the film we saw. Anyways, him who obviously brought the kind of method yes. uh, style, even though he did at times. Sorry, guys. Um, and I, I, you, thank you. Dilip so Kumar, thank you. Thank you. I uh, appreciate that. Um, but you, same kind of like, I want to, I, I like what I'm seeing. He's, he's really, really talented. He Absolutely. brings a lot of charisma. Um, and I, I loved his performance in this. I, I did, did too. Phenom- and the kid, the, the, yeah, his younger, his self, younger himself, self, which was his Sashi brother. Kapoor. Sashi, I thought, was great. <laughs> it really does. I'll get on it right now because also I want to talk a lot about uh, uh, their dad. Yes, Raj. we'll get you all of them right now. Yeah. But we've said it before and we'll say it over and over again. And it's in all industries. But I understand... Because we haven't seen all of his work, but whenever we watch Coffee with Karan, there's always the list that P says, put these actors in order of who you think are the best. Mm-hmm. And if Ranbir is in the list, Ranbir is number one. Yeah, oh, he is. Always. always. Yeah. And I don't think it's just because his last name is Kapoor. No. I think it's pretty obvious in just the limited exposure that we've gotten to the Kapoor family that this isn't, yes, there is favoritism that happens when you're in a family in a family business. That's the nature of a family business. Mm-hmm. But if they can deliver on the goods, mm-hmm. that, why would you not want that? Yeah. Why wouldn't you be? Why wouldn't you have uh, somebody like um, anybody that's great at what they do, 
and want them to have kids and hope that their kids are as good, if not better than them, because what they contributed was so great. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very clear that this is a movie-making family, the likes of which I don't think there is in any cinema anywhere on earth. Yeah. I can't think of a comparable Hollywood family. Yeah, no. Yeah. There isn't one. Maybe in like the producing side of it. Like who've been in yeah, who've been who are like the people behind the, the money scenes, people. The money people, but yeah, in but terms not of the talent. Making, the, directing, yeah. starring. Yeah. So yeah, um, I he 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 really impressed me. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, not only in his acting, in his directing. <laughs> his directing was off the frickin' charts. It was worse than Wells good. Yeah, in terms of what they do, this is what we talk about this all the time when we ever watch a black and white film, what they can do, which is why you often don't like it restored or, uh, I mean, colorized. Because obviously, especially in, in Hollywood, it was made because they were like, we can we can only do black and white. So right. the lighting is made for black and white. The, uh, and this one, I shadows. wouldn't want this one that way. Because, give you, for example, Maya Bazaar and Mughal Azam, those are such epic, ornate films yeah. that colorizing them helps you appreciate what went into the production design and the ornateness of it. Yeah. This one doesn't have any settings that are ornate. Mm. Well, I'm, I might have liked to see that the, the dream. The dream scene. I might have. I, even that would have been gorgeous, different. But yeah. But even still, I. And, and I like the Citizen Kane esque yeah. black and white use and his use. He's as good with he's as good with black and white and with shadow and with lighting and with angles as Orson Welles has, ever was, if not better. Mm, yeah. And just some of the moments he captured, I don't even know how long he took to get that were so great. Just for example, this little one, when the knife gets thrown and it hits the door, yeah. it hits and some blood drips down and then the door opens mm -hmm. i don't know if that was serendipitous or if that's what he wanted and he's like i want the knife to hit and then hopefully we can get blood to drip down right where the knife hit i wonder if they like just soaked it right yeah just so ah! i think it was it yeah. was a soak we're gonna hit it and then hopefully it won't splash it'll just hit and then drip it, yeah. little things like that i don't know how he did it i don't know how he did it brilliant yeah. Ah, uh, and just I, brilliant. I, I probably should mention his, the cinematographer as well. Yeah, uh, um, uh, uh, Radu uh, Karmakar. Forgive him his pronunciation. And it was also composed by say these names. Uh, a, a combo of folks: uh, Jai Kishin, Diablo Patel. I know I butchered that. Forgive me. Uh, Shankar Singh Raghuwanshi. And we'll, we'll get back to the the actors in just a second, but. Man, that was one of the best song sequences. I mean, this whole film is full of great songs. Every single song, whether it's and between Nar Nargis and Raj, and they had great, great songs. Great songs and great score throughout. Such complex violin arrangements. Um, but the one that really just steals the show. Incredible. Is one of the most amazing sequences I've seen in cinema. In cinema history. Especially old cinema. Unquestionable. Like, what they were able to do with the set design, the Unbelievable. music. Unbelievable. The way that she's in the clouds and he's down in hell he's and down in hell and then he gets caught behind the skeletal arms that of course they made wrap around him and he's walking through literal fire getting into the thing then Raj decides he wants a POV shot from within the thing so that the skeletal arms are in front of camera he did that so many so many times he wanted your POV to be from Raj's his character's perspective mm -hmm. uh, it's 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 one of the greatest acting directing films I've ever seen in terms of, I, I it's mind boggling that he was so good in both aspects. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and what that the, number. And <laughs> I, if there was a production design person, I would name him because. Yeah, or her, whoever it yeah, was. Yeah, or her, uh, because this, this rivals what I said, like, Mughali Azam, yes. Yoda Akbar, those epic films, obviously very different. Those are, those are historical epic style yeah. but this brought just the same amount of beauty to some of the sets some of the ones like when they were on water and it was obviously clear it was a backdrop set yeah. but they built that yes <laughs> which i love yes. that's one of my favorite parts of old hollywood is what the stuff they had to do and they still have to do it but there there's so much more you could do with cgi now that, that uh, you, you can get away with i also know there's probably no footage of this but man would i have loved to have been a fly on the wall to watch how the things worked dynamically on the set and the way that raj worked with his dad because mm -hmm. at this point his dad's a legend you know he's a extraordinarily well-known actor in Indian cinema he was considered at his time to be the, the most handsome of riveting screen presence we haven't talked oh, about him yeah, yet we will. but uh, I wonder what it was like he's directing his dad in this film 
you know, and I wonder what that dynamic was like, where he's deferring and offering respect, but how much his dad freed him up, how much he asked his dad for help or maybe didn't. I would have loved to have watched yeah, those dynamics. Been really interesting. But can we talk about him? Yes, yes. Uh, do you want to talk about him or Nargis first? Let's go to Nargis. Let's okay. go to Nargis. Nargis, uh, quickly we come in. We've seen, this is our third? Yeah, Mother India was first, right? Yeah, and then there was another one, right? Um, Am I forgetting? Because I feel like... Yeah, I feel like there was another film we saw her in. Uh, maybe it's just songs that I'm thinking of. Okay, and that could um, be the case too. Uh, I just I thought obviously we know Mother India was the first one, and we were impressed with her in that. I feel like there was another, there was a black and white one that we saw her in. Maybe, maybe not. I guess uh, you guys can let us know. Maybe I'm just forgetting anyway. something. But yeah, she's. I think she's such a talented actress. Uh, I love her with obviously a great screen presence. But yeah, she. We saw her acting jobs in Mother India. Yeah, yeah she. Frickin' just killed that film. Yeah. Uh, especially in the first half of that. But yeah, this one shows obviously a completely different character, a different yeah. side of her who gets to play like the charming, uh, um, uh, almost love interest, but obviously a highly educated... Highly uh, educated, uh, highly her, strong. Which is very different for the time, obviously, that this film was made. Yes. Uh, and obviously she... she it stood well up against these other two, Raj and... Uh, you bet. And uh, the Pravati, is his name Pravati? Uh, uh, Prithi Raj. Prithi Raj, thank you. Um, he stands up well against both of them. Uh, has phenomenal... And I think they were dating at the time. Oh, were they? I, did they date? Did Raj and... and they dated, Raj right? Kapoor and Nardis date? Okay. I don't know. Anyways, okay. I thought they did. But maybe I'm just wrong. But they had great chemistry. Incredible if chemistry. If they didn't. Because they were uh, just like... There were a couple of moments. I was like, you know, some of, some of you making films right now, or in the past like 40 years, you just need to go back and watch... They had more chemistry in some of their scenes than entire full musical numbers that we've seen from Indian films, you know, the Bollywood films, where they try to get sexual tension, where they're, you know, kiss on the neck and you yeah. pull away and the veil comes across and this. They didn't need anything but the two of them on screen looking at each other. And it was very sensual. It's deeply sensual. Pearl in 1951. The bathing suit sequence? Yeah. Yeah. I freaking loved it and her getting undressed behind the thing mm -hmm. and then he takes the thing down and for a split second you're like dang did he do that before she was changed yep. <laughs> they were sexy when he goes to kiss her I loved this shot he goes in to kiss her when he's standing behind like I guess it's the sail that was on that boat they were on that they said the sail could the ship could yeah. uh, sink and he goes into the, the thing with her and then the light goes out right as he's about to kiss her and I just, it was so, they're very sexy together. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, another thing that Raj, uh, was, I'm just thinking of this one shot, it was towards the end where he was singing a song because he just stole the necklace and, and given it to her. And that, oh yeah, the thing. necklace empty but box she moment. she came, he, after he just sang a song and he was on the beach, she showed up in the back and the shadows were full over and the shadow was over his face. Yes. <laughs> Gorgeous shot. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. The way he was able to so utilize many gorgeous shadows shots. in the black and white is... Impeccable. So many but, yeah, shots. Uh, the, the, their on-screen chemistry was amazing, and you were kind of just invested from the very beginning. Yeah. As even when they were kids, uh, you kind of just stayed invested to these to these two people to the very very end. We'll get into the story in a uh -huh. second because let's talk yes, Prithi sir, Raj. Um, I I don't know that there's ever been for me a more enigmatic, charismatic magnetizing presence on screen. He does have a, a very uh, epic presence. and My and goodness. Charisma. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I just... He's one of those actors, like Daniel Day-Lewis, You just that, that you not only just want to watch him think, you can't stop looking at them. Like, they could just be eating, and you just, you're like this. Uh, he... I've, he has, I mean, I already fell in love with him in Mughali Azam, right? Which is crazy that that was almost 10 years after this film. Right. Because it yeah. feels like it should have been before. Though. But he, I, I want to see everything he's ever done. Because mm -hmm. he, and I understand that he uh, founded a theater, and this is ridiculous, like in a span of 16 years did over 2,000 plays that he was the star in in all of them. 2,000? Yes. Whoa. So it was like a play a week. How? I, I, I don't know. Feels like it's not real. I, 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 well, he did. He he is a thespian, and yeah. he did create a theater. I don't know if that was the exact tally, but that was the the thing that I read. Yeah. I uh, I absolutely 
love this man. He's he is everything you could want from a screen actor. Yeah, absolutely. And he he brought exactly what you want. You you hated him at times. You were and then yeah, you're he, mad at him, and you you he's such an ass. Yeah, he is. But but he's all all on his principles right. and, and and all that kind of stuff. And it's, it's yeah, you get so upset with him. <laughs> but the film, and that'll get into the story. Even though I still feel like he was all, let off a little too easy. Uh, him, yeah, the judge, yeah. Of course, I feel like he was let off. I, that's a, that's he's supposed to be. Yeah, he's the he's the one with the power and the status and the education and the principles. Yeah, so he get he gets let off easy while the criminal ends where he's supposed to be in jail. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, there's the whole social message. Oh my god, uh, we haven't even gotten into that. There's quite a few social messages. Quite a few, I guess. But yeah, the the overall story, which is. Three hours long, which is what we said at the beginning of the classroom. We expect all these classes. No problem with the runtime. Three hours. No problem with the runtime. Especially with what they, how they paced it. Like yep. There's a lot of songs, and it's just so pretty to look at. Yeah. It's almost in black and white. It's it's almost like watching um, Orson Welles or yeah, uh, Sanjay Lee Bensali, but in black and white. Yep. Everything was just so grandeur, so epic, and it was just it, it kind of helped the story just flow along for three hours. Yep. Um, and which is once another testament to. Uh, yeah. Raj Kapoor and yeah. his directing, um, but yeah, the the overall story I thought was a really good story. The the overall message, especially there at the end, where he was talking about you know, okay, I'm gonna go to jail, but you think that's gonna stop all these other criminals right. that, that that are out there because that's the situation they're put in that have been and for many of them because it has the nature versus nurture aspect. Yeah, many of them are there because society has created that. Yep. and continues to perpetuate it and doesn't help and, and doesn't, doesn't help which is not only an Indian problem no we constantly talk about that in our politics here of <laughs> yeah, just the, no. the, the one percent gets or the, the rich people get everything they want and yep. kind of the middle or the lower class yep. gets completely forgotten and then you wonder why they uh, you know are, yep. are doing some of the stuff that they're doing and yeah, so it's it's a it's film for, for a film that was 1950 and it's still relevant for every it I feel sure culture. is it sure is Maybe we not Sweden just yesterday and Johnny and I were driving around, and she asked me a question about, you know, where because she was she's getting the lay of the land in L.A. and she recognizes that L.A. is like a lot of other cities, and that the downtown area is and is where it's kind of the slums and the low income, and the suburbs are where it's the nice income, mm. and you can see the difference in skin tones as well. Mm. And I said, yeah, it's not a coincidence. The suburbs were created by rich white people here. Mm-hmm. In the 1950s and 60s, they were they were not wanting to have black people live where they live, and so they relegated them and put them into the downtown area, and that's why you have that. And they've done everything they can to keep it that way. Yep. And it's not just that's not just a it's not an American thing, and it's not even just a, a white thing. It's a classist, greedy thing. Yep. And that's why I like this better than Citizen Kane for a lot of reasons. Citizen Kane for me is very one dimensional. I think this is so multi dimensional. Because it covers so many universal truths and it covers so many strong things, but particularly on the political things. Uh, yes, I know this has a very strong socialist message. Uh, Bernie Sanders. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No. <laughs> That's I, not, so yeah, I, I, Let's, we don't live in a perfect world, and since we don't live in a perfect world, actually socialism is the one that's going to work the best. You know why? Real quick. Capitalism doesn't work because people are greedy. Mm. Communism doesn't work because generosity shouldn't be forced. So if you're without those two, you got to have somewhere in the middle. And this film does a really great job of pointing out the nature versus nurture. Two of my favorite lines in the film. Mm-hmm. One is his. He's talking to the guy who's going to hire him. He says, you don't want to employ thieves. Would you rather they keep thieving their whole lives? Yep. We do in America. If you're a felon... Yeah, can't get a job. Forever. You could have had a clean record. You commit one felony... And the judge is lenient, gives you three years of probation. That is stamped on you forever. You can't get an apartment. You can't get a job. You'll never vote again. Yep. And then this sure. line, this line is one of the greatest lines, in my opinion, in cinematic history. Mm. So here is our hero, right? Mm-hmm. Here's Raj. He's tormented because he, he has the, the guilt of what he's done. Mm-hmm. And he also knows he's guilty for the crimes. But she loves him, and he feels like he shouldn't even be loved by her. She's like, but yeah, but you feel sorry for what you've done. He says, yeah, but you'd still be marrying a thief. Society will never accept me. And she says, your guilt will be this bride's vermilion. (laughs) Shut up. (laughs) Shut up. Yeah. 
Yeah, the, the writing of this. Uh, Unfreaking leaveable. Uh, <laughs> there was a lot of really great dialogue in this, uh, really poetic dialogue, especially between Nargis and, oh, and, yeah. um, and, and Raj Kapoor. Um, but there, was there any parts you didn't like? No. There was one that just... It, there was a part that made me laugh. I just didn't like it as, as much as I liked the rest of the film, which was the mom... The, the her head wrapping? No, the basically she stepped in front of a slow moving car. Uh, and, that didn't bother me. And then they're wrapping her head. The head thing is a little just, weird. It's it's similar to how the mom died in like uh, Amir Akbar Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I loved. Oh, the guy. I, I loved our. We didn't talk about him as an actor. I thought he did yeah, a great job, job playing a bad too. guy. Yeah. But our 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 henchman, right? And I knew it. I knew that was going to happen when he Jaga, came. Who's who yeah. we're talking about. Uh, Jaga, who's played by Kian Singh, did a very good job yeah, I did. I liked uh, throughout him the whole thing. But uh, Indrani happened to be peeking over and watching with me at that time. And Raj, it's so great because uh, Raj, Kapo- yeah, Raj Kapoor had the camera right there. And he's reaching up at the camera and he goes, ha, 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 ha. Totally how people die. Totally <laughs> I'm bleeding to death. I'm bleeding to death. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I kind of chalked that up to kind of the time. It was the that, time that it was made. But yeah, kind of, like especially like when the mom got hit by a slow moving car, then they have her head wrapped and and <laughs> all this kind of stuff. I was like, I know why you're doing it. But and at least, stuff. hey, just, at least Raj, that part, I was like, Ugh. in the directing, at least he put her in a really gnarly body position. Did you notice that when they stopped camera and went, she was really twisted underneath the thing. So he did, he did try to make it look worse. <laughs> Give him credit for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually thought the end part uh, with them embracing between the 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 thing was really good. Oh, goes to the chemistry again. Uh, that's that's and that final frame, down to the final. Fr- I, I when it ended, I. I said out loud, I said, just perfect. Mm-hmm. The final frame of Raj, he's standing and he's looking at the window. And the fact that the window was positioned up so high, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's unattainable. His freedom is always going to be unattainable. And he's behind bars and he's locked because the system is created by people who have a power that isn't built upon anything other than what they want to keep themselves in power. Yep. And good people get punished for things because they don't have power. Yep. Yeah. It's yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. Everything for about this film is probably one of my favorite classics that we've seen. Absolutely. Um, obviously, we've seen a bunch of great classics. It's but been in an terms amazing of, month. But in t- especially this month, we haven't seen. We've seen all great ones. Some I think, this one. yeah. freaking um, great movies. But yeah, overall, I think this is probably one of the overall best, not only classic, but films that we've seen in terms yeah. of directing, acting, cinematography, writing, score, everything. everything. It's a very complete film. Actor, actress, supporting actor, supporting actor. I think it was like his, actress. his third directing film, too. Incredible. And it, it really is incredible. Apparently, he wasn't supposed to be the original director, either. I don't know if you read that. Uh, oh, yeah, I did. Person, apparently, another they had a casting to be attached. dispute. Uh, which I don't know what casting that you did. Well, and this again, the fact that, you know, I've been interested in theater and film all of my life. I've been, you know, I was a member of SAG at four years old. I grew up in the entertainment industry. I studied my, you know, my years of theater in high school. I then went as a theater major to Cal State Northridge. I taught theater. I created a conservatory of fine art. You would think somebody that's supposed to be as educated as I was would have known about a film that freaking good in cinema. But no, you know why? Because it's Indian. Yeah. And he's racist. Good freaking grief. <laughs> Pisses me off. Uh, if there's st- I, This needs to be... Mm. Why Citizen Kane would be taught just because it impacted American cinema and not this, which is a more universal film, boggles the freaking mind. Yeah, absolutely. <sighs> Phenomenal film. So let us know what should be our next classic uh, in general, but also Raj Kapoor yeah. uh, and uh, Nargis Raj and, and uh, Prithi Raj yeah, all three as, of them. as well uh, for them. Because I know they've done, they did quite a few films together, yeah. Raj Kapoor and Nargis. Quite a few. Um, I know they did Shri 420 as well, which is... Uh, uh, the one that's kind of cinematic. He's carrying the... For 20. You, uh, it reminded me of one other thing. I don't know if you know about this little trivia, but mm-hmm. his, his prison number... Which one? His prison number. I don't, it's 308, I think. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, his prison number, 308. Mm. That's the exact article number in the penal code in India that he is charged for for his crime. Oh, really? So, he, so Raj, or the writer, whoever, gave the character, uh, when they call prisoner number 308, he's given the number of the penal code that he was charged for the crime interesting yeah i'm glad i remembered that <laughs> <laughs> let us know what the next clashing should be down below